Dinesh D'Souza's 2016 Obama's America did way better than I think it should have in terms of box office sales. But in terms of Oscar nominations, not so well. It was completely snubbed, and he is pissed. We actually have a quote from him. He says, by ignoring 2016, the top performing box office hit of 2012, and pretending that films like Searching for Sugar Man and This Is Not a Film are more deserving of an Oscar, our friends in Hollywood have removed any doubt average Americans may have had that liberal politi political ideology, not excellence, is the true standard of what receives awards. See, that's a miss. See, that was a misprint. What it's supposed to say is uh, liberal political ideology, not excrement, <laughs> is the true standard of what. Gets I can see awards. how they could make that mistake. Yeah, in our graphics department. You know, we had Dinesh D'Souza on the uh, Young Turks current television show. And I would ask him the simplest questions, and he had nothing, right? Yeah. Like he would, he had, he would talk for paragraphs, but he wouldn't ever address what you would ask. But never address the question. So if you care so much about deficits, as an example, mm -hmm. why weren't you making movies about well, how George W. Have... Bush uh, added to the deficit, right? I mean, giant, giant amounts of the yeah. deficit, nothing, right? And so this is a propaganda movie, and there are propaganda movies on the left, right? Uh, and, but this is a particularly Stupid one. I mean, <laughs> like he went and found mm -hmm. Obama's half brother in Kenya, and he's like, "How come Obama's not taking care of you?" Wait a minute. I thought you didn't want the government taking care of people. And besides uh -huh. which, he doesn't live in this country. Besides which, they hardly know each other, right? All this. I mean, like, and then he, he was like, "Aha!" It was just a horrible, horrible movie. Now there is a significant chunk of this co uh, uh, population who likes horrible movies because they like that message that he's sending. I yeah, hate Obama. Right. Da, da, da. And so, should he be allowed to make the movie? Of course. You know, and should and he makes good money making the movie? Bless his heart, he should make another one. You know, if you're a capitalist, go for it, man. Make yeah. it a sequel and trilogy. Okay, George Lucas that stuff, right? Yeah. Exactly. But we don't have to give you an award for your crap. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's obvious crap. Yeah, I, I think we, you've talked previously about um, what was it, Boss? Mm -hmm. And so there there is certainly there are times when liberal ideology does influence the way that I think the elites in Hollywood see certain movies or TV series. That's certainly true. But it doesn't mean that just because your movie is conservative, this is an example of it. Media has a quote that I think perfectly sums up what is actually being said and stated in this movie. He says, 2016 is a well-polished polemic asking the sort of questions that you'd find in a forwarded chain mail from your conservative <laughs> uncle. It's not, it's not actual political research. Right. It's not, it's, yes, it's not astute. No. And, and by, the guy who, by the way, the guy who wrote that for Media is actually conservative. Yes, and, and he says, "Hey, listen. You know, there's sometimes they have a bias. For example, he thinks Waiting for Superman was a great movie, and it was a good documentary. I didn't agree with it, but it was a good documentary. Yeah. And he feels that that was snubbed. So that's a fair point, right? And and to your boss point, I love Boss. And so when Kelsey Grammer, and I think it's excellent, excellent TV. When Kelsey Grammer got snubbed, I thought he was just flat out the best actor. And I watch a decent amount of those drama TV shows on TV today. And he says, "Hey, you know, it's because I'm conservative." Look, I don't know if that's the case, but at least he's got a case to make. Well, I can tell you, know? you this. It's may maybe it's just because they got sick of giving him Emmy Awards. I don't know if you know well, that. Well, that's, that's actually a good point. I hadn't thought of that. He's been nominated 14 times for Emmys. He's won five Emmy Awards Kelsey already. Grammer? So maybe yeah. they just kind of get tired of giving Kelsey Grammer's Emmys, and so it's uh, somebody else's turn, which happens all the time. Yeah. But he's going to always be a crybaby about it, even though he's one of the most successful Hollywood personalities in the history of tell the longest-running character. I think besides Homer Simpson on television was Kelsey Grammer's uh, Frazier. You know, that's such a good point that I retract any inkling of <laughs> giving him a, a, you know, a pass on that comment. Because here's the thing, right? Uh, he can't possibly be the conservative bias if they've already given you five yeah. awards and yes. you're saying, well, they didn't give me my sixth award, right? <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, it's, it's much more likely to be, and it was a great show, and my opinion doesn't count for the whole Academy, so I could be wrong, right? But it could be more likely that he was on a smaller cable station, mm -hmm. and so and they they see. passed over it because of yeah. that. I didn't even that's know he had reality. a show. <laughs> see, that's I didn't why. Even know. Yeah. That'd be the equivalent of Michael Jordan saying, "I didn't get my six MVP because the guys are racists." You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>